So I just want to welcome you all to this conference, first and foremost, from the perspective of the Global Benchmarking uh, Network. Um, I'll just make my slide bigger here. Hold on. So it's, this is um, a fabulous opportunity to get speakers from around the world to share their insights, you know, on benchmarking, on innovation. Um, and uh, as we started off today with the presentation from, from Miguel on future foresight. Uh, so this, to me, that's a really stimulating uh, topic. And I've made so many notes from, from his presentation. And, you know, this is um, really a pre-conference, the, the, the conference that we have here today uh, for a larger conference that we're going to have on the 1st and 2nd of December th this year, again, uh, organised by the Global Benchmarking Network and the Philippine Society of Quality. So if we can maintain this standard of presentation that we had from Miguel throughout um not only this summit, but the, the one in December, um, I, I think we're gonna drive interest up in all these new, new, new concepts and methods uh, to, to the benefit of the Philippines and all the countries which are participating in this event. Uh, for those of you that are unaware of the Global Benchmarking Network, I'm just gonna share a few words on that. So the Philippine Society of Quality represents the Philippines in the Global Benchmarking Network, but we actually have 19 countries which are part of this network, which are facilitating the sharing of good ideas, practices, new technologies, new methods. Um, and so this is all for the advancement of society. Um, so I represent actually New Zealand, but uh, I'm also serve as the chairman of the Global Benchmarking Network. Uh, to find out more about what we do, then please visit our website, and uh, you can see the website address here. And I think all the slides will be shared afterwards. Uh, one of the major events that we're, we're having in the near future is the Global Benchmarking Award. And this is where we're encouraging organizations which have inculcated a, a culture of organizational learning, learning from the best, you know, striving to, um, ensure the sustainability for the future for using techniques as, such as future foresight to actually apply for this uh, award. Uh, so if you believe your organization is continually looking outwards and um, is, is, is making sure that it is going to be sustainable for the future, looking at alternative scenarios, then um, there is time to apply for this award. Uh, Officially, the entry is closed on the 30th of April, but uh, informally we'll keep that open a little longer. So just let us know if you want to enter that and you can't get the application in by the 30th of April. In addition to that, the Global Benchmarking Network is supporting the International Best Practice Competition, the Environmental, Social and Governance Excellence Award, and the Organisation Wide Innovation Award. And... So again, if you're interested in these competitions and events to encourage sharing, to encourage benchmarking, to encourage learning you, Miguel, you know, internationally. I'm Teresa Bagaman. I think somebody needs to switch off their microphone. Okay, so if you're interested in, in this event in terms of sharing your own practices in an international platform, then there is still time to do that. So again, go to the website to find out more about this. But if you just want to listen and learn from all these international best practices, then we'll have a series of webinars from the 7th of June to the 23rd of June, where you'll be able to um, um, hear about all these stimulating new, new approaches, new methods, and then think about how we can apply them inside your own organization. And we'll like to have the finals between the 19th and 21st of July. And that will also include the final of the Global Benchmarking Award. Uh, interestingly enough, later on, you'll hear the award-winning presentation from Dubai Municipality, who won the Organization Wide Innovation Award at last year's Best Practice Competition. So 
that will be a short presentation of 15 minutes, but it's really, it's a fabulous example of how you can ensure that innovation is embedded inside your organization. And I know also they do a lot of future foresight as well. So uh, I think part of the presentation talks about that too. So just to, to, to finish, um, we started off with a great presentation today from Miguel, and I realize it's quite early for, for him in Spain. So again, thank you for his participation in this event. And I say the, the whole event here is a precursor to this major conference on the 1st and 2nd of December. So I'm looking forward to seeing you all again at uh, that, that major conference. And I also wish the best of luck for all the uh, presentations in today's event. And uh, I wish for a pleasure, pleasurable experience for all our listeners. I I'm sure that uh, you're gonna learn a lot and uh, help your own organizations to improve even further based on the new information you require. So hopefully you enjoy, all enjoy it all and I'll see you all soon. Good luck to everybody. Thank you.